What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we're going to be telling you guys how to get the free cards that are coming out in NBA 2K20 on my team today, as well as going over some things for them. So, lads, before we get on to it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to get 247,000 subs by the end of the day. Our whole goal is by the end of the month, 250k. And it's going to be close. It is definitely, definitely going to be close. We can hit 247k by the end of the day. We are in really, really good shape. As well as that, if you guys do want to see a Carmelo Anthony gameplay on the channel, leave a like. If we could hit 200 likes in the first 30 minutes, and we'll do a Galaxy Opa Carmelo Anthony gameplay as soon as possible. So, lads, who are the two new free cards today? So, the first of these free cards right here is... Galaxy Opal Reward. Is he in the rewards? Jarrett Culver. And the second of these free cards is Pink Diamond Reward. Is he in Pink Diamond Rewards? I don't know exactly where he is. But it's Jaron Jackson Jr. basically. Is he in Spotlight Rewards for this season? No. Could he be in Season Rewards? With reality season awards yeah jaron jackson jr here he is so these are the two free cards so for jared culver let's have a look at his stats so jared culver has got 31 half badges he's a galaxy opal he has got 94 speed 94 acceleration 86 three ball 97 mid range he's got half showtime which is good only gold range extender flexible release 94 lateral 90 driving dunk half clamps half fire crusher half interceptor they're pretty good they're pretty good badges. So, you Trey Burke, Kobe. These dribble sigs are awful. Oh my god, what did they do to him? What did they do to him? Like, his dribble sigs are fine. These are fine. What did you do to him, 2K? Why Why do you keep giving people Pro 4? You did the same with Darren Williams. You did the exact same BS with Darren Williams. Darren Williams had fine sigs. He had a Pro 5 behind the back and the Pro um, 1 crossover. And you gave him Pro 4, Pro 4. What is wrong with... Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you giving people the worst crossover and the worst behind the back of the pros? Like, what are you doing, 2K? Oh, my God. I'm just... You can see why I'm angry today. You can see why I'm angry today. And, lads, this card, he's, he's decent. He is he's decent. He's not going to be great. And I'm thinking... First of all, I'm thinking how happy I, I am we got Obi Toppin. Because Obi Toppin's a million times better than this card. The dude's got one hot zone. He's got one hot zone. So, I'm just like, okay, calm down, Mick, calm down. Look, he's going to be a locker code player. Everyone's going to be able to get him for free. Nope, he's not. Or I thought he was going to be an agenda player. Nope, he's not an agenda player. I initially thought we were going to be seeing him pop up in the agendas. And we didn't see him pop up in the agendas. I thought for sure, for sure he was going to be a locker code. And that would have been great. Like you can never complain about a free locker code card. Dun dun dun. He's orangey. It's pure luck if you can get him or not. Oh, this is like 2K. I want to give them. I've been giving them so much of a round of applause over the last couple of weeks. They have taken every. It's like they've listened to all of us saying what you did was great. What you've been doing is great. What you've been doing is great. And we're back on it all. How you get this card? Play the game and hope you get lucky. Actually, actually, it's barely lucky. Because one, I've played 200 games and haven't seen the glitch market. He's the worst glitch market player. He's not as good as Moss Turner. Because there aren't that many unbelievable centers. Maybe with Jaron Jackson Jr. you could argue that. But he's nowhere near as good as Frank or OG. Nowhere near as good as these two guys. Nowhere near as good as Taco. And nowhere close to being as good as Lou slash J.R. Smith. I'm just annoyed. This is annoying. This is just annoying. But, um, yeah, then we got Jaron Jackson Jr. And I started off the video being negative because I want to end off this video being positive. Rather than go from being positive to negative, I'm going to start off being pos negative and end up being positive. There is no negatives involved with this Jaron Jackson Jr. card. This is what we all needed. 
This is a 6'11 center with a 7'4 wingspan, a 93 three-pointer, a cash release on very quick. A pretty decent escape if you're on next gen. He's not going to be able to do it on current gen. Um, Pro 4 behind the back look, it's it's not awful on a center. Like, comparing on current gen to Pro 5, it's nowhere, it's not good at all. But, I mean, it's better than having a basic one or a normal one. But he's the Pro 2 cross, which is really, really good. He's got all the Showtime dunks. He's got Hall of Fame Showtime, Hall of Fame range, Hall of Fame quick first step, unblockable dream shake downhill. He has got box, brick wall, chase in artist, clamps, hard crusher, interceptor, intimidator, moving truck, pogo stick, rim protector, like tires defender. Like he is insanely good. Like when we're looking at centers, he blows, um, what's his name, out of the water. He blows the likes of Demandis Simonis and Maxi Kleba out of the water. He's so much better than those guys. This card, as much as I have been negative to start off this video, this is the this is the turning point, lads. This is the turning point. This is where I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna be positive because this right here, all of these minus Kelly Uber. Kelly Uber wasn't great. But Kelly Uber wasn't terrible. These like week one new leads. This has been a W. This has been a W. So, how quickly does it take? Can you get this card? So, I'm just gonna tell you guys the quickest way of getting them. So, first of all, where is week three clue? All right. Five assists with a center, 12 rebounds with a center, and 27 points with power forwards in a single game. 50 point triple trash. Very easy to do this in one game. Like very, very easy to do this in one game. 50 point triple trap. Takes seven minutes. Um, except for the fact it's... Is this week three, isn't it? Yeah, so. Week three, new lead. 11 points with a power forward and triple trap offline game. 20 points in the paint with a center, and like nine three points of power forwards in a single game. Okay, so this takes one triple threat offline game, four minutes, and then maybe six minutes for a game where you can use, or in a 50 point triple threat game. So, so far we're on about 15, 20 minutes, and then Jaron Jackson Jr., one block with a Grizzly center, score 50 points with Grizzlies power forwards, win a game using 10 Grizzlies players. You can very easily do all this in one game of domination. So, it's less than an hour grind. Like, it is less than an hour grind for these guys. You do need the 10 Grizzlies players, which a lot of people don't have them. But let me just take a look and have a look at the token rewards. Because that is the easiest place to look, is these here. See these, like, Emerald token rewards? Um, like, again, Greg Anthony. If you don't, if you need an extra Grizzlies player, Greg Anthony is there. Um... There's another one, Bonzi Wells is there. And these are just the ones he doesn't have, and ev nearly everyone's on the Ruby board anyway. Anything above Amethyst is no point. But yeah, and then there might be token rewards in, there might be some lower rewards from the Grizzlies. And you might have picked up some Grizzlies players from other things throughout the, um, the year. So, it's probably the easiest way to get it. So. It's going to be expensive. If you need players from the Grizzlies, they're going to be expensive. But there's no time limit on it, so I wouldn't be in a rush. Grizzlies players are going to go down in price. Like, yes, they're super expensive right now. Like, who's bidding 7000 on Anthony Melton? I'm telling you, if you can't afford the players, just wait a few days. Just wait a few days. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. We got two free cards, and Jaron Jackson Jr. is really really good he's really really good and he's the better of the two and he's the one of the two that you actually know how to get and i it is technically telling you how to get glitch market jarra culver by saying that technically you get him by playing the game and hope you get lucky but yeah i just don't get it i just don't get it with that specific card because he's not good He's, he's terrible. Like, he's, in fact, the worst of the glitch market cards. And that's what's confusing. Is that he's actually now the card that nobody... Instead of being the card that everyone wants in the glitch market, he's the card nobody wants. They could have based him on any game mode. And made people grind the mode. Like, no one wants to play Limited this weekend. They could have based him around My Team Limited. They could have done anything with him. There's so many things. They could have based it on agendas. They could have made, like, a Donovan Mitchell agenda, which might have... Which might be based on some of the current players. They could have done anything. Except for what they did. I, I'm I'm just baffled. I'm, it's just the dumbest thing they could have done. 
I'm just baffled. Like, normally, like, as the year has gone on, I, ha I think in my head, I'm like, you know what? The My Team devs kind, like, they're getting better at knowing what the community wants, and then today, they've just made me realize they actually have no idea. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.